Hi everybody, this is Sahib from Make a Store, one of the engineers here. Today we will be solving a problem that we have been facing for quite some time but didn't have the time to address. But today is the fortunate day. As you can see, we have a structural frame here that we basically use to showcase our different products to our customers. The issue is like whenever you apply force at the top of this frame, the whole frame wiggles and you don't want that. A lot of our customers have been using similar kind of structures at their workplaces, at their houses to store their equipment, to store small products and stuff like that. And you don't want anybody, especially your children, to touch the frame and things falling off it because of the wiggle. So in order to stop that, we came up with a solution. This is one of our 2020 V slots. It's a structural element that's used in almost every machine that we sell. So the solution is to put these 2020 V slots as cross bracings. And when you apply the force at the top, these cross bracings basically prevent that. But in order to connect these 2020 V slots to the bottom frame here and the vertical frame here, we need 45 degree brackets. As you can see here, these two contact points, they have to be connected to the bottom and the vertical frame. And currently we don't have these 45 degree brackets in house. What we are going to do and show you as well is how we will design, manufacture these 45 degree brackets using one of our CNC machines. So the first thing we will do is we will draw hand sketches of our desired product. The second thing will be to model that part into Fusion 360, where the part design comes in. Next, we will use the CAM capability of the Fusion 360 to generate the G-code, and that G-code will be fed to the controller of our CNC machine that will eventually cut the part. So if you want all the content related to our 45 degree bracket, all the content is linked down below. Hey guys, the 45 degree bracket is all good to go. Uh, it has been made on our Outback CNC machine, designed in-house, and you can see the nice round edges here. The cut is so clean. Now the next step of the process is to test the product on the actual frame. Designing a product is just the single part. Uh, cutting the product is the next step, but the test is the actual part of the process where you see if your product is fit for purpose or not. In the next step, we will be checking if it actually solves the issue that we were facing earlier. So 
let's go. Just as an add-on for the frames, we have installed wheels as well, so that it gets easier for us to move the whole frame anywhere we want. In order to fit in the brackets, uh, we will use our spring-loaded T-nuts and some sliding T-nuts that fit perfectly into the grooves of these V-slots. So as I'm installing it, you can see the benefit of using the spring-loaded T-nuts. Uh, you don't need an open end of the uh, V-slot. You can directly pop them in. With the help of their spring-loaded function, they stay in place. I've already attached the brackets to the cross bracing. This assembly will then be attached to the frame. We'll be using the low profile eight mil bolts and using an Allen key. All right, so Frame is done, the brackets have been installed, the cross bracings have been installed. And so if you now apply force at the top part of the frame, you can see it's not wiggling. So that essentially solves our issue. So that's how you can create your own products using the CNC machines. You can go through the whole design process. The possibilities are endless. It's just your imagination that you're limited by. So the frame has been designed to hold our totes, which basically showcase our products. And that's the same reason that it has been reinforced with these brackets and the cross piercings, as sometimes the totes can get a bit heavy. So now we'll just put on the totes onto the frame. As you can see, we're done with the project. We have installed the brackets, reinforced the whole frame, put on some nice wheels as well to give the whole frame a bit of mobility. If you found this video valuable, consider watching the next one that's right now on your screen. Until next time, happy making.